If you looked at your face under a microscope, it looks something like this. These are hairs. But what are these? They're coming out of the base of every hair follicle. These are tails from this animal, a face mite. Face mites live their lives face down inside your hair follicles, feasting on this stuff, the greasy oil that your skin secretes. You likely have thousands of these mites burrowing into your face right now, which sounds disgusting, but it's totally normal. And that makes me wonder, what else lives inside of our bodies? Whoa. This circle represents all of the cells inside of your body. Around 44% are your cells. The rest of the cells make up other organisms. Most of the stuff inside you is not you. But what is it? Fungi, worms, arthropods, and tons of bacteria. Inside your body, bacteria move around, they communicate, they form complex colonies with divisions of labor. But here's my question. Where do bacteria live inside of our bodies? Here's a photo of bacteria on the surface of a human tooth. Here's another of bacteria on the human cheek. Most of the bacteria are inside your gastrointestinal system, and I assumed they just hung out there, passively living off your stomach acid. But that's not really how it works. Sometimes we eat carbohydrates that we cannot digest, but the bacteria inside our gut can take those carbs, break them down, and turn them into other things that our cells can digest. We get 10% of our calories from this bacterial poop. So then, in a way, when we eat, we're not entirely feeding ourselves. We're feeding the bacteria in our intestines and then absorbing whatever those bacteria poop out. Which makes me wonder, are there ways we can help the bacteria in our gut? so they can keep helping us. Yes, there are. We'll go over more things that are living inside of you right now. But first, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this video's sponsor, Seed. This is a DSO-1 daily symbiotic. There's some important things inside. This is something called a prebiotic basically a food specifically for the bacteria in your gut. And inside this second capsule is a probiotic, strains of good bacteria that have been studied for health benefits. It's a capsule inside another capsule to help make sure the probiotic makes it to your small intestine. But what's the point? Well, the bacteria strains used in probiotics are studied for their effectiveness at supporting gastrointestinal, cardiovascular, and skin health. Between you and me, sometimes I get a little bloaty and constipated, and this helps support me in those areas. If you're interested in trying it out, use my code oddanimal25 for 25% off Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. But bacteria aren't the only thing living on your body. What's the next biggest group in this graph? Fungi. I thought people were infected by fungi. Like it comes from somewhere else and infects your body like a disease. But that's not true. Everybody has fungus growing on them at all times. Here are three that are growing on you right now. In the corners of your mouth, you'll find this fungus, Candida. 
coating your hands is a fair amount of this one, trichosporon. And inside your throat right now is a bunch of aspergillus. See those tiny circles? They're small spores. They can break off. And you can breed these spores out. If someone else breathes them in, your aspergillus can start growing inside their throat. Which makes me think, it seems that microorganisms that grow on or inside of us tend to stay in the same place, like on our skin or in our gut. For example, the human itch mite. They dig small burrows in our skin, and they mate, lay eggs, and live their entire life cycles in these burrows. But do any of these organisms move around more, like from one place to another? Ah, well some do. This is a hookworm. It's attached to someone's intestine. If we look at a hookworm's face, it has these big plates on them. Those are teeth that they use to latch on to the intestinal walls and feed on our blood. But they don't spend their entire lives in our small intestines. Hookworm larvae start outside of your body, in the soil. They often burrow into your body through your feet. Once they get into your feet, they'll enter your bloodstream. Your bloodstream will carry them all the way up to your lungs. Inside your lungs, they'll move up your respiratory tract. They'll literally climb up your throat, where you'll probably cough them up and swallow them down your esophagus. Now they'll enter your gastrointestinal tract where they'll make their way down to your small intestine. There, they'll hook themselves onto your intestinal walls and start feeding on your blood. Eventually, they'll lay eggs, which you will poop out. The eggs will hatch outside of your body, and the entire process will begin again. <laughs>